वेलकम टू पाइथन लेक्चर एवरीवन इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डायनेमिकली टाइपिंग और स्ट्रांग टाइपिंग इन पाइथन पाइथन इज इन जनरल कॉल्ड एज डायनेमिकली टाइप्ड लैंग्वेज और स्ट्रांगली टाइप्ड लैंग्वेज व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इट एंड हाउ वी कैन ट्राई टू इंटरप्रिट दिस थिंग्स विद अ प्रैक्टिकल एग्जांपल लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सो हियर लेट्स सपोज आई एम सेइंग दैट दैट ए इज इक्वल्स टू 10 एट द सेम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू से दैट ए इज इक्वल्स टू एस यू डी एच व्हिच इज नथिंग बट अ स्ट्रिंग सो एट वन इन instance i'm trying to define a variable's value as an integer and at the same point of a time i'm trying to define a value of the variable as a string now this is called as dynamically typing so here you can try to define a value of a variable with any kind of a data type and there is no restrictions at all maybe you can try to define a is equals to t r u e true which is a boolean so here again and again for the same variable right for the same variable a i'm not changing the variable name for the same variable a i'm just trying to define a different different kind of a data type and this is precisely called as dynamically typing and because of that so python is basically treated as a dynamically typing language maybe i can try to give you some different examples as well let's suppose b is equals to 34.56 and then b is equals to a list maybe i can try to keep any kind of a data inside a list now again this is a dynamic one because if you will go and check what is a type of b so what is a type of b to type of b is equals to list for this one it is trying to take the latest value of the variable so python is very very dynamic doesn't matter what kind of a value you have assigned previously so in this case it was a floating point number but again i have redefined or i am able to redefine a value of the variable as a list and it is going to consider a list there is no hard bound or condition that you are supposed to define just this kind of a variable to a particular variable name you can define anything that you want and it is not going to complain it is never going to complain in any instances now what is the meaning of strong typing right what is the meaning of a strong typing so let's suppose right let's suppose i'm trying to define over here maybe a variable is equals to c and here c is equals to sudh okay and now i'm going to define a variable d and d is equals to 10 now let's suppose if i'm trying to perform c plus d over here so c plus d if i'm going to perform what will happen let's try to understand so if i'm going to execute it it is giving me an error why it is giving me an error and this is where you all will be able to understand a meaning of strong typing what is the meaning of it see i'm trying to create a variable c with a string which is sudh and then i'm trying to define a variable d with 10 which is the integer and then i'm trying to perform a concatenation or you can say arithmetic operation as of now in a layman way i can say that i'm trying to define maybe some sort of a c plus d which is the arithmetic operation or maybe in a context of a string it is going to be the concatenation operation so i'm trying to concatenate a string plus integer which is not allowed means you are supposed to convert all the data type in the same format then only it is going to perform this particular operation and that is the reason it's called as strongly typed language so if i am going to convert somehow right somehow if i am going to convert this d into a string it is not going to give me any kind of error i'll show you that as well so again i'll try to perform c plus d right but this time i'm going to convert d into a string now as you can see it is supporting this operation why because both of these variable is available in a exact same format and this is something called as strongly typed language so whenever you are trying to perform any kind of operation so you are supposed to make sure that every variable every data set should be available in a exact same format if it is not available in the same format it is not going to support again i'll try to show you a couple of more example with respect to a strong typing so dynamic typing a strong typing is not at all very difficult concept it's a very very easy concept but yes like i said you all are supposed to be aware about it so here let's suppose i'm going to create a variable e and variable e is equals to sudh now if i'm going to write sudh into 3 
right? SUDH into 3. Now, what is going to happen? Is it going to give me an issue? It is going to give me a problem? Let's try to understand. So execute and there is no issue at all. Let's suppose I'm trying to print E. What has happened? So you can see that that it is trying to repeat SUDH, SUDH, SUDH three times. This is again called as strongly typed. I'm just trying to do a multiplication operation, right? Technically, in a layman way, I'm just trying to perform what? I'm trying to perform a multiplication operation, but this operation is supported over here, right? So SUDH into three and yes, SUDH, 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 three times it is trying to represent. So whenever I'm trying to do a plus operation with respect to a string, it is a concatenation operation. So all the variable with whom you are trying to do a concatenation operation, it should be available in a what format? string format simple right <clears throat> and whenever you're trying to do a multiplication operation it just try to repeat the same thing again and again and again very simple let's suppose i'm going to create a list over here right so maybe i can try to keep a couple of data inside my list and then if i'm going to do into three let's see whether it is going to work for me or not now if i'm going to print l as you can see, it is repeating, it is repeating the same thing again and again and again three times. So this is technically supported. Now, let's suppose I have a list over here, right? This is a list and I'm trying to perform list plus nine. Let's see what happens over here. So list plus nine, if I'm trying to perform, so it is telling me that can only concatenate list to list, not integer list to list not integer so it is a strongly typed you have to convert even nine which is an integer into a list format whenever you are trying to perform a concatenation operation simple now let's suppose i have a list and then i'm trying to perform sudas is it going to work let's try to understand so here execute again it is not going to work because can only concatenate list to list not to a string this is a message that you will end up getting so this is something called as again strongly typed so python is a strongly typed language whenever you're typing something so you strongly you have to follow the rules and regulations you strongly you have to convert all the data type into a same format then only it is going to perform or it is going to allow you to perform a primitive operation otherwise it is not going to allow you to perform these kind of a primitive operations at any point of time so hope all of you are able to understand what is the meaning of dynamically typing and a strong typing so python is called as dynamic type language or a strongly typed language and this is something that you have to remember with that thank you so much everyone see you again in the next video